All right, Kelly, here's your video. It's looking really powerful every stroke. I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and do slow-mo. What I want to see, or what I want you to see here, <clears throat> is your timing of the hips and the shoulders uh, along with your stroke. And then I want you to look at what you're doing with your arms at the catch. Something real quick, just uh, positioning here. I think you could put your front foot further forward. You can kind of see here that your knee... Uh, angle it's a little acute I like it to be a little bit more open and possibly doing that means you might need to scoot your back your uh, block back a little bit your boat looks a little front heavy anyways uh, back to technique so go ahead and look here um, what we're doing with your arms so see how your bottom arm is relatively straight it's flexed it's good though uh, your back arm is very bent. See that? And so at the last second, what you do is you punch that top arm straight. Ah, sorry. And then you bend your bottom arm. Okay, so look it. So you just switch. One, the, one arm just punches forward and the other one pulls. Um... I can tell that you're muscling it and you're trying to use your arms more than connecting the top hand to your bottom knee and really trusting the water because your hips are really far forward and rotated and your back could be, but you, you you're like kind of squirreling around. So you see this really, oops, sorry. You see this really good line happening here from the bottom knee up, but then suddenly you square up your shoulders in a way where you're tr you're trying to face the water instead of rotating. It's easier for me to show you this in person, but basically I'd rather see a straight line from your knee to your sh your left shoulder. Well, actually to your top shoulder. So it should be your top shoulder here and then your bottom shoulder and your arm is like this. And then you could have the paddle kind of like this. Well, let me do this with straight liner. This is what we're hoping for. You would have so much more reach. Um, it's just a lot harder and you have to connect to the water with the top hand and the bottom knee and really pressing against the blade for stability instead of kind of scraping by like you have been. So because of the way you paddle right now, you're kind of losing this much of your stroke. So you could be buried up there, but instead you're not, you're buried right there. So this is, that circle shows you how much your, your stroke is missing. Um, once you do get buried, you can tell you're connected to your hips and I like that. Um, but your hips are off balance and they're going too far back because the stroke is so late. And so you're getting a little rocky and a little off balance. So you really, I really want you to get more far forward. I want your hips to lead first. So your hips should already be forward before you get the blade out of the water. And, and then finish off by completely rotating and straightening up that top arm. I think it'll really force you to have to connect to the water in a way where that boat is going to fly forward.